Well, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 opens at midnight, and uh, while there are showings in our area, uh, many of them have already been sold out. It is the eighth and final film in the series, which features the final showdown between Harry and his arch nemesis, Lord Voldemort. It's already brought in $25 million in advance ticket sales. Some movie industry experts say it could have been the best worldwide opening in film history, topping Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which brought in $384 million when it opened in 2009. In the first seven films of the franchise, the gross has been more than $6 billion. In our area, the Potter hype has already hit theaters. This is uh, Bay Park Cinema in Ashwaubenon. Potter fans already lining up around the theater for the premiere. Some people will say they've been outside waiting since midnight. The diehard fans prepared with tents, blankets, pillows, waiting for the doors to open. Tickets, like we said, have already been sold out, but the Potter enthusiasts say waiting for the final flick and getting a good seat is just part of the fun. We have to get really, really good seats because it's the best movie ever and we have, to, we have to make sure we can have the best seats we can possibly get. We sit out here all day. I've got my novel and my music and treats and snacks and we run to the mall for dinner and come back and it's just a lot of fun. Save your place in line or else. The movie, of course, is more than two hours long and uh, these aren't the only fans in the area eager to see the movie. Coming up at 9, we'll have more on how Potter fans are celebrating the final installment of the series.